Hey guys, this is Joseph. Welcome to another tutorial. All right. Um, have you been in a situation whereby you want to play a video in your scene and you're looking for how to add the video into your texture and play that in the scene? As a so, what I'm trying to say is that um. I've actually had some projects whereby most of the time architectural projects whereby I have to put in a video in the TV screen and I want that video to play, to play through. So how can you do such thing? That is what this tutorial is all about. So if you look at this video, you have this um, animation which I did some times back. So I'm trying to incorporate this, putting into the screen and letting it play through just like someone is watching TV and the TV is playing. So that is what we want to do here in this tutorial. So I'm going to go over to Cinema 4D. So I'll All right, so we are here in Cinema 4D. You can already see, I have a scene here that I want to work with. And by the way, the tutorial is not about the scene. It's about this TV right here. So we want to kind of play this animation in a texture that we're going to be adding to this screen and watching it play through. So that is why we're going to do that. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to select this TV and come over to my object manager, press S, and it takes me to the object directly. So this is the object, more like the scene, the screen that I want to add the texture. So what I'm going to do is I'll double click here in my material browser to load the texture. I'm going to drag the texture over to this. So I'm trying to create this from scratch. So if I bring this texture here and double click this, I have this image here. So what I'm going to do is over to my color channel, I'm going to load in the texture. So I have this image, I'll just drag this over to my texture section of my um, color channel. So it's telling me whether I want to create a copy of it, I'll say no. And that will be added here. So I'm going to go over to my editor, I'm going to change this to no scale. All right, so then the next thing I'm going to do is if you come over here, now I've added this, if I play this, nothing happens. And the reason why nothing happens is because I need to calculate this frame. So, all right, so, and if I go over to this texture and you come over to the animation tag, so you can see it's already giving you the number of frames. Okay, all right, so the reason why this calculate comes in handy is, is that when you use image sequence, Cinema 4D is going to read only the first frame of the image, the only first frame in the sequence. So that is where this calculate comes in handy, that you have to click for it to, for it to calculate how many frames you have in that animation. But because it's a movie file, it's already seen the number of frames that we have so you don't really need to click on this calculate so all i just need to do is make sure that my end frame here is the same thing with my animation timeline here all right so like i said if you try playing this it will not play and the reason is because i need to make sure i go over to my editor section and click animate preview so that is very important you have to click this animate preview so once you click that and you close you can come back here and play. As soon as you play, you notice that the animation is playing. But right now we have an issue here. The issue is that this image is not mapped right. So if I click here, you notice what we have moving map. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change this to cubical to see what I have first off. So if I check Kibika, see what it's giving me. So it's animating and you can already see this file animating. But now this file is too large. All right. So what I can do to this to make this and correct this is to quickly create a camera and get into the camera. So it's just for me to come back to this section. So what I'm going to do is what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to this and press S for me to frame here. Alt and click to just straighten this to my view. So the reason why I'm doing this is for me to quickly draw out my texture out. So if I come to this and press S, right click on this texture. Once I right click on it, I'm going to see fit 
to region so what I'm going to do once I click on fit to region what it does is just allows me to click and create a rectangle over this and it's going to fit that to my screen you can already see that so if you don't get that you can already you can just go back and do that again until you get this set so that's the reason why I'm coming to this screen straight on all right so and I think it's cutting this through so I'm going to do that again and give it a little bit of just to this place click and drag so that I think this is fine so if I go back to my camera and this is what I have so if I'm playing this now you're going to see the full animation playthrough and my object is or my character is playing through and it's just more like you're watching a movie file there so that is this for this tutorial if you feel this was helpful all right so do please give me a thumbs up and also subscribe to the channel because it helps me a lot